It's Brent Fierce, that personal trainer, Dreaming to Achieve Fitness. I'm going to talk to you about periodization today, what you need to do so you don't plateau. First of all, periodization involves shifting training properties from non-specific sports activities of high volume, low intensity, to more sports-specific activities of low volume, high intensity, over many, week, over many weeks, you know, so you don't... Uh, Overtrain or plateau, so you're always switching up your program, switching up your routine. Now there are three different phases in periodization: uh, macro cycle, that's just a big overall picture. It can be from four months to four years, so just your overall goal of what you're trying to do is a macro cycle. Within those macro cycles, there are two meso cycles, basically lasting several weeks to several months. Uh, depending on your goals, of course. Each mesocycle is divided into several microcycles that are typically one week long. You know, it could be up to four weeks long, focusing on daily and weekly training. Basically, the main things you need to focus on in these these uh, periodization goals are uh, intensity, like your load, and your volume, your reps. Those are the two variables uh, that are most important in your training, of course. Um, so I'm just going to go through like a, a football program that I designed for myself because you know I used to play football with my semi-pro jerseys back then. So here's just a football program as far as setting up a cycle. Preseason is about two two months long. What I want to do in that preseason is by far that's the largest period because your goal is to develop strength. Uh, power so that it peaks just prior to the in season. Uh, this phase is the longest, so it's going to be your mesocycle, your, your main goal. Um, the goal of the preseason, of course, is to get on that size, get bigger so you can you know, run people over, or what do you got to do? Uh, the goal is to get there bigger, faster, and stronger. That's the preseason. So, what you want to do in preseason is uh, mostly like plyometric stuff and speed and agility training. With the plyometric stuff, you want to use multiple effort activity like box jumps, speed three to five sets, three to five reps at 75 to 85 percent of your intensity, your highest intensity, for two to five minutes. Uh, this is to work on your mechanical and neur neurophysiological models of plyometrics. Um, help you get that body ready for those movements and explosiveness that you're going to need on the field. Fail in the pre-season so you don't fail in the season. Now you don't have to use just this football program. You can do this if you're a bodybuilder, you're another athlete, whatever it is. Speed and agility training. This is also to help explosiveness um, and your speed endurance. So this is like short durations of high intensity, so high speed, high fast sprints, working on your type 2B muscles fibers, your power explosive muscle fibers. Just like plyometric, speed and agility is going to work on that same type of muscle fiber. Um, basically, the next phase is your in-season phase of your football training. Um, the, the objective here is to maintain all the gains that you resulted from the hard work over the preseason and off-season. <clears throat> I can reduce the number of strength sessions, so reduce the number of strength lifting sessions that you have and the volume and sets and repetitions, but shouldn't skip weight training altogether. So you're not totally going crazy with the weight training in season, but you're still in the weights. Um, the transition phase in between, you know, you want to take about a week off from activity, but not totally off. So, you know, still run around the lake or get your jobs in or play a pickup game of basketball. That's going to be a transition phase for a week, so you get a little rest period. Off season phase, you know, you want to start from the bottom of the pyramid and work your way up to that power again. So, as far as like the pyramid, start at the bottom of the pyramid. So, like your endurance phase, you know, 67% or less, 12 to 16 reps, 3 sets, 30 seconds rest. Next frame of that pyramid would be hypertrophy, 67 to 85% of your, your max, 6 to 12 reps, 3 sets. 30 to 90 seconds rest. Then you're getting up into that power range, closer to the um, closer to the preseason. There, um, <clears throat> the power phase consists of 80 to 90 percent of your, your single set strength, 
multi-set strength is 75 to 85 percent, three to five reps on everything. Um, two to five minutes rest because of course this is a lot of wear and tear on your body. Type 2B muscle fibers need a lot longer to rest. Um, that's huge. Strength is the last phase. 85 percent or higher. Six reps. Six, you know, six to eight reps is usually what I do. Um, and then two to five minutes rest in between your sets there. So heavy weight. Strength is the top of the line there. Um, you know, do what you want with this pyramid. You can use it in your football season. Athletes, you can switch it from running, weightlifting, bodybuilding, whatever it is. Like I said, follow those cycles. You'll get after it so you don't plateau. Always changing up your workouts. Impose new demands on your body. Get bigger, get stronger. Let's go. Dream Chief Fitness. Eat right, chain right. Peace.